<laughs> Jamie, like... there were a lot of tweets through the season debating whether you belong on this show. What do you think? Is it a fit? Well, I don't know still to this day if it's a fit per se, but was it entertaining? A lot of times, yes. I want to take it to the group. Do you think Kim was a fit for the show, Kenya? I mean, if I'm being honest, no, I don't think so. She is often very condescending to the group as though she's better than everyone. I remember in Jamaica, she said, well, if I don't fit in with this group, it's okay. Guess what they say about you behind your back, snooze fest. If I don't fit in with this clique, that is really okay. That's pretty nasty of a dig. My response was to, you know, everyone says you're a, a snooze fest. So what does it take not to be boring in this group? That's what it's in reference to. Overall, I felt like I don't know if you necessarily fit in with the quote unquote group because we are all about dealing with confrontation and you don't deal whatsoever. Phaedra, do you think she understands it? I, with Kim, I think she is definitely different from us, but you have to want to engage. And sometimes I noticed that she did not engage. Yeah. For me, I, I've always loved Kim. Regine, it was my favorite. Um, she just seemed a little judgmental. It was disappointing to see so much boobage. Just, ow. I miss class. And I was like, oh, she's going to be a judgy one. So I was hoping that that would change into like more of an endearing kind of situation where she was like an aunt. You know, someone who we do. Uh, uh, not the aunt. Like, I've always said that. I've always said she's like a big aunt. sis. Come on. Big, okay, big what sis, the hell? Big sis, big sis. Big sis. Big sis. The aunt of the group. You know what's funny about that is at that event, I was just surprised at how much that's the norm. So it wasn't a, a judgmental thing. It was an observation of, oh. Yeah, but when you say something like what happened to class, that's being judgmental. Well, it's my opinion. To me, you just seemed more uncomfortable in the group than judgmental. Like you just never hung out with anybody like us before, like for real. And is that right? I don't think people realize that I'm actually really, really shy. And I think people have an expectation, especially if they have Regine as a point of reference, that it just becomes, oh, this is, you know, probably who she's going to be. When you broke down in Miami, mm -hmm. was there a part of you that was feeling like, I don't want to be on this show? Oh, not at no. all, because I, one, I would have said that. I definitely say what I mean and mean what I say. I just wanted to be with my man right. at that point. Uh, Eric from Kansas City, Kansas. Kim, you seem to have difficulty managing your children in D.C. Meanwhile, Phaedra looked cool as a cucumber. Phaedra. What made this trip so difficult? The thing when Quincy's crying was we got in at 2 in the morning and then it was his nap time. So you kind of do the math and, you know, figure it out. It, it's almost like you thought it was going to be like a field trip or something fun for the kids. But no, I, honestly, it was not for the kids. So it was presented as something that was for our children to show them that people of color are in leadership and government, those sorts of things. So it actually was. And that's what so why were you leaving out then? So why did you keep exiting? Because my son was crying. So I didn't want to be disrupted. I know, but when you're exiting, you're like, this isn't for kids. At the office or at the um, I mean, you lunch. exited pretty much everywhere we were, <laughs> but... <laughs> pick one thing she exited from. Oh, just pick one. Maybe you should have did what Phaedra did and got a sitter. Like I said, that ain't how to sh check out. Do you regret that? Not at all. No. At that point, it really was just about making sure that I was a dedicated mom. Phaedra, you didn't invite Candy and Cynthia to the Million I Man didn't. March. I didn't. She was very pregnant, so she couldn't travel. I and think Peter... I could travel in the United States at that time, but I didn't get invited. Sheree, you were there with your son, Cairo. Mm -hmm. What was that experience like? That him? was awesome. So much is going on in, you know, in this world. And he is a young black man. And, um, Fine young black man. Yeah. Fine young black man. <laughs> good looking. Yeah. Ooh, good morning, everybody. Oh, there's that handsome son. How tall are you? 6'6". Six, six. He big for 19. Are you worried to have your son around Portia? Yes. He was some good eye candy. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, Cairo is a struggling uh, all the month of college student. Man. Put some money in his account, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're going to be Cairo's sugar mama. <laughs> so it was a good, it was positive. It was a very positive experience. Thank you, Phaedra. Don't go anywhere. More questions for the ladies after this.